y'all don't deal with women and how they nag because y'all like men but it is exhausting it's emotionally exhausting dealing with a woman who's highly neurotic highly disagreeable everything bothers her nothing is ever good enough she has a problem with every minuscule thing that pops up and then she just exaggerates problems and issues to the point to where the only thing you want to do is get away from her and that's a very real thing that a lot of men experience i've dealt with it and as i said it's not intuitive when you deal with a woman after you've dealt with a woman like that and you move on to another woman it's just heuristics you already know i've seen this before i've seen this story right. before this woman is going to be a headache and that's essentially what we try to get away from these women are migraines and they create a lot of issues over the simplest things you can't even communicate effectively with them because they're not willing to listen they're not willing to understand and they don't see the flaws and the things that they do wrong, especially when it comes to how they project. Talking about clear facts. A man doesn't want a woman who is always nagging and starting fights. The stress and bothersomeness get so high that you just want to escape and be at peace. You only want to keep your peace so you don't want to stay with that person. You did ask them then. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to see she got mad when man asks for a DNA test. Let's begin right away. I'm over here in the hospital, y'all. Finna give birth to his child. And he over here questioning me, Tama, is this really his baby? Like, what are you talking about? Do you really think I'm sitting here have you up here at the hospital and everything with me just for nothing? Are you serious right now? What kind of baby dad does that right when we finna have this baby? Like, are you serious? You really gonna sit here and question baby Tama? Oh, can you get DNA test? No, you're not getting no DNA test after this. I'm not doing that. This is your child. If you don't believe it's your child, then you could go ahead and go. I don't need you up here. Because all you're doing is stressing me out. out. Yeah, we are finna find out. And that's so weird for you to even be saying that, though. Why would you even say that? You, you don't never want to claim your kids. Why are you never claiming your kids? Find out. Like, I don't even be, I don't be doing none of that cheating stuff or none of that. What, like, what are you doing? Bro, like, I'm, t I'm sick of that. And you know what? I'm not even gonna say nothing, bro, because I'm not getting no DNA test. So if it, he don't think it's his child, he just won't have a child. We don't, we don't really need you. When she talks like that and acts mad, it looks like you're hiding something. You're acting strange. Because she would gladly back his choice if she wasn't worried about what would happen. Listen, friend, that DNA test has to be done right away after hearing her talk like that. Also, I believe DNA checks should be required by law as soon as a baby is born. In this three or four flation, it's the only way to be sure of paternity. Men do not take accountability, ever, ever. Anytime a girl says anything to a guy like, hey, I think men should do something different, they're like, oh, you just date the wrong men. Is this a global problem? Yeah. Like, If women are all having a collective experience and saying the same things about men who also don't go to therapy, it's always men that anytime I say an issue that women have, they always turn it back on themselves. Yeah. What is the thing we need to take accountability for that we're not taking accountability for? Mm, I think men have a tendency to, uh, I think men in, the, and Rolo, for example. Hold on. Oh, that's so smart. It's clear that the issue isn't systemic or widespread. Women have just had bad luck with the guys they've chosen. That's so helpful. Some male people seem to have a hard time understanding what it means to be accountable. When you can just say you've been dating the wrong men, why think about yourself and grow? Don't even get me started on the fear of therapy. Because, well, obviously weak people don't deal with their own problems or mental health, am I right? It's really touching to see how hard they are trying to avoid taking blame and shift the focus back to themselves. Well done, guys. Well done. Are you dead ass didn't post me on Valentine's Day? How come you not start with this? You were doing, we were doing so well. We were doing so well. No, I didn't post you. You're not Why? my girl. Yes, I you're am. not my girl. How are you going to tell me because that you're my girl? Because we spent Valentine's Day together, so obviously you like me. So no, no, that's not what that means. Together. It means that you were the first person to ask me. So you're talking to other girls? 100%. That's fucking crazy. Like, How is that crazy? How am I a narcissist? How am I a narcissist for you, well, us not being in a relationship because and talking to other girls? I'm not using yes, you. You asked me are. to hang out and you were the first person. So I said so yes. If, it's that simple. So if you had other girls, why wouldn't you just fucking hit them up then? It was kind of like a though. first come, first serve You're kind of You're a toxic ass motherfucking bitch. Like, that's so fucking crazy. Like, why would you say that shit to me? You're so fucking rude. Like, you're actually rude as fuck. Like, fucking weirdo. Like, just don't fucking hang out with me and don't fucking tell me what to fucking do. Like, it's fucking weird. Get out. No, I'm not getting out.
Like, you treat me wrong, you want me to get out? Like, it's fucking crazy. Oh, how silly of me to expect simple respect and decency from someone I'm dating. I was being silly when I thought that, maybe, just maybe, I deserve to be treated as more than just one choice among many. In all honesty, it makes perfect sense for you to flirt with other girls while treating me like I'm not important. After all, why would I ever question something that makes so much sense? And saying that I might, just might, think about leaving this crazy situation. Actually, that's just plain silly, isn't it? Who needs self-respect when you can enjoy being not as good as everyone else? I must be crazy to think that this lovely design could work out any better. Minimum height. Six feet. Yeah, that's where they get you. Would you exclude obesity? Absolutely. Minimum income, so. I'm gonna say at least 200. 200 grand? You could be 30 oh years old. Oh my goodness. Take a guess at how many, what percentage of men fit these, this criteria. 2%, much lower. It's 0.049%. Cool. Alright, is this going on the TV? Why don't women just go out and make a lot of money on their own? This is an old question. It's really a puzzle that will never end, isn't it? We should really start working hard to make money if we want to find a person who is successful with money. Who needs systemic barriers, job discrimination, and hundreds of years of unfair treatment of women to get in our way? Do not worry, brave female warriors. I am cheering for you from the sidelines as you find your way through this wonderful maze of social norms and double standards. Because it's clear that rude comments and barely hidden doubts about women's skills block the way to gender equality. Ladies, don't give up the good fight. I'll be here, cheering you on with all the energy of someone who doesn't understand what equality means. If you're in a relationship where you just don't have hinge, let me sum it up for you. First round's on me. If it's tequila, if you message me first. I'm really attracted to girls with a sense of humor. Girls who go to the gym. Blondes. Typical Sunday. Football. Scary. Recovery. I want someone who can cook. Swing a golf club best travel story maybe that time that i traveled to europe for a whole summer what happens in ibiza stays in ibiza together we could grab a drink go to the gym while she is talking about this one she tells the other one yo i meant to say this for the first crazy person it's not cute nice or pretty it's very annoying when you can't keep your camera still and it shows how annoying you are i get that you don't like hinge why are you still on hinge or even better why are you whining about what those guys want? Get together with someone whose tastes match your own. Wow. Oh, I see. I forgot that unicorns died out. Ladies, the best way to make a man love you is to do the following things. Number one, always pick fights with him so that you can both be upset together. Number two, always get mad at him whenever he offers practical solutions to the problems you complain about. Number three, punish him whenever he doesn't read your mind and doesn't do things that you never asked him to do. Number four, constantly mock him for doing things all men do. And number five, tell him you want him to be decisive, but then resist every decision he makes. Okay, I hope you had a good laugh because now I'm going to give you the actual list for how to make a man love you. This list has one item on it. Are you ready? Show him respect. Literally all men want is respect. That is number one on their list by a long way. And now we have not only a generation of women who don't understand how to show men respect, but also a generation of men who have no idea how to command it. And the few men that do know how to command it are labeled toxic and controlling. If men are taught how to treat women, there is no excuse for why we don't teach women how to treat men. For a moment, she had me going. I was about to say something snarky about how staying in touch with ex-partners and competing with them all the time is the best way to look good. Because, you know, nothing says relationship goals like constantly competing with an ex-lover. Not to be rude, but let's get right to the point. To be honest, the idea of supporting these kinds of behaviors is crazy. Truth be told, trust, respect, and putting the past behind you are the most important things for a good relationship. No, friends, keeping in touch with ex-lovers and competing in small ways is not the way to win someone's heart. More likely to cause pain and trouble than anything else. Let's not play games here, shall we? You have to be emotionally intelligent as a man to know that this is a woman. Mm. And yes, she is soft and submissive, mm. and what comes with soft and submission is emotion. Okay, so that, let's, let's talk about that emotionally intelligent word, and hopefully I won't get cut off. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that I need to be emotionally Absolutely. intelligent enough to deal with you. Absolutely. But you don't need to be emotionally intelligent enough to control yourself. 
See how that sounds. Excuse no, me, ma'am. No, See no, how no, that no. sounds. You taking See how weird that is. I have to be emotionally intelligent enough to deal with this chick, but she's not emotionally intelligent enough to deal with herself, to control herself, but we're to not keep her emotions in check. I told y'all she was going to try to cut me off, but it's okay. I'm talking to you guys at home. So the fact of the matter is that this woman can control herself. <laughs> I, in turn, who is not a clinical physician, psychiatrist, psychologist, am supposed to have to deal with her shit because she can't get her stuff together. So the next Next time that I want to sit there and shoot somebody, she needs to be emotionally intelligent enough to get the gun out my hand. If you do certain things mm -hmm. and behave a certain way mm -hmm. in accordance to your wife. Or I have a five-year-old daughter, and in kindergarten, they give them these little balls. They're called stress balls, and they're called poppets, you know? Maybe you should take some notes from them. Because whenever my five-year-old used to do that ball Ladies, thing, stay away from me, Chief. From oh, the interesting idea of emotional intelligence, where one person is expected to handle their own feelings as well as the feelings of others. Modern psychology has really come a long way, isn't it? It seems like I must have great emotional intelligence to deal with your mood swings and whims while you don't have to do anything to control your behavior. What a nice double standard, isn't it, ma'am? It's also ridiculous that it's hard to believe. Let's talk about it, of course. Because in this strange world, I seem to be expected to be the emotional Sherpa leading you through life's rough terrain while you roam around freely, lacking any self-awareness or self-control. It's really amazing that I haven't shut down because of how ridiculous everything is. I just don't want to be dependent. I don't want to like- You don't want to be to dependent. So, uh, that, right, exactly. You don't want to be dependent. So why get married? Why get married? Yeah, I could be independent. I could live on my own. I could hire a maid. I could hire a cook. I could just whatever, you know. I don't want to be independent. I want to be dependent on my wife. I love my wife. I want to make a vow that I'm going to stay with my wife forever and have a nice big family. And I don't want to be separated at all. I want to, if I didn't want to do that, if I wanted to just be on my own, but have someone to mitigate the loneliness and occasionally sleep with, why get married at all? I. I it sounds like she's saying that she wants to settle down after having some exciting adventures. But let's slow down for a minute, shall we? Going from wild nights to happy times at home isn't as easy as it sounds. It's funny to think that someone who has been living a more free life would now expect to easily transition into a serious relationship. What about the idea that women don't change or grow as they get older? Okay, that's just plain silly. The truth is that everyone changes and grows over time, no matter what gender they are. It's true that some events change us, but they don't make us who we are forever. Let's get rid of the old assumptions and see that everyone can change and grow, no matter what their past is like.